Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So I'm just really happy to be filming right now because I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in so long. It's been like a whole week and I've had enough. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So what I'm doing today is a full face of this month's favorite. So I've picked up so many new products that I've just fallen in love with. And as you guys probably know, if you follow me on Instagram, and I guess I've been vlogging as well, but I've been traveling a lot this month. So I've been taking this stuff with me every single where I go and I'm so obsessed with it all. So I just really wanted to share it with you guys so you guys can go pick some of this stuff up, try it out for yourself and fall in love with these products yourself. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing that I've been literally obsessed with is the Benefit Browsing's Total Taming and Shaping Kit for Brows. I have the shade 3 and I've been obsessed with this for a really long time, but just recently I've been using the waxy side and this has changed my life. Usually I would only use the powder, but honestly, ever since I started using this, my brows have been looking incredible. It just makes the brows look so naturally to find. What I like to do is start with the wax and create my arch that actually isn't there. I wasn't gifted with a natural arch. Oh my God. <laughs> Great start. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long. So I'm just using this Morphe angled brush. This is the best for brows. If you guys haven't tried out this product, you honestly have to get it. I've never used anything so good. Just saying. I'm going to do a bit of a chit chat in this video as well because there's a few things I want to talk about. Oh no. Yeah. Um, so on my last video, no, I think it was like two videos ago, I did a haul and I was just like sharing with my clothes, doing a try on haul. So, so annoying. I'm like getting annoyed talking about it. But like I've always done try on hauls like ever since I first started my YouTube channel. And people were commenting on that video saying, oh my God, ever since Shiny got her boobs done, she just gets her tits at all the time. And I'm like, that is completely not true. I just wanted to address that in a video. Ever since I got my boob job, my boobs have been in more. And like, I'm only just feeling comfortable now to like wear normal tops and stuff like this. Like people with small boobs can get away with wearing this. Why can't I? Like, it's so annoying. I think the thing that annoyed me the most was like, Literally, when you have small boobs, people don't come for you. When you have big boobs, it's like so not okay to wear little tops and bikinis and any top where your boobs are like out like this. Like it's just so not okay for some people. And it just like really confuses me because why is it okay for people with small boobs? But then when you have big boobs, it's like such a big deal. Like get over it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the powder and I'm just going to basically go over my arch and underneath my brow. And the rest is pretty much filled in with all of that wax. But I just like to define the top and bottom with powder. Then we can conceal to fix up the shape a bit. I just got a B12 shot in this arm and a B shot in this arm. So I have to keep moving them so they don't like get big lumps in them from all the product in there. So <laughs> just trying to be active, you know. All right, let's do this. Oh, I need to get my eyebrows waxed, girl. My next favorite product is this one here named Bindi. Oh my God, no, seriously though, she got a haircut. Look at her head. Look at her ears. Look, Bin, show them your ears. Look at that. What's this? They cut her whole ears off, hun. And that is why you don't take your dogs to a groomer last minute. You really just got to book them in and be patient. I just, she, lo she was looking really ratty. So I was like, I'll just take her anywhere. Oh my God, biggest mistake of my life. The next product that I'm loving at the moment is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions Palette. If you guys have been watching me for a while and you would know that I'm obsessed with all of these type of colors. This is like what I want to do 24 seven with my makeup. So the first shade that I'm going to take is this middle mauve brown right here. And this is going to be my transition shade. So this brush I'm obsessed with as well. What is this? It? it is the Morphe M433 brush. I'm just going to pop this in my crease. Just to start off this look. The formula of these eyeshadows are absolutely incredible. And this palette is like so perfect for traveling because it's so tiny. And there's like... Oh. Bin! And there's a few different looks you can do with it. Obviously, they're all going to be like cranberry kind of looks, but 
I mean, that's all I ever want to do, so who cares? Mindy! I don't know who she's barking at. Like, there's no one outside. No one can get up here. God bless. I was going to move out because there was construction, like, so loud. Um, like, literally right next to me. And I went to, like, break my lease and everything. I went and looked at a house. It was so beautiful. And then... <laughs> but anyways, I rocked up to the house for the inspection. I looked over to my right. The girl that lived over there was, like, a pea plater. So she was around my age. And she was literally, like like looking inside the door like this, like peeking through, looking at me. And I'm like, oh God, I'm not moving here. If she's like spying on me already, like that's so uncomfortable. Like if I'm moving out, I don't want anyone to know where I live. Like I'm going to be so private about it. It's going to be in like a private, like little estate. I'm going to have security cameras. Like after getting broken into, like I am so horrified that people know where I live. My other camera is being so weird. So I'm just going to have to use this one, but hopefully this thing goes okay for you guys. All right, so that's all blended. Now we can move on to the next shade. So I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is honestly like the prettiest color in the entire world. It is the perfect cranberry shade. So what brush should I take? I'm just going to go in with this little blending brush right here. And I'm just going to pop this in my crease and build it up nice and dark. And I'm also going to put it on the outer half of my eye as well, just here. And then, of course, I'm just going to take that blending shade to blend out the edges right here. And my favorite part of the whole thing, clean it up with the makeup wipe. Yes. <laughs> the next color that I'm taking is this dark purple right here. And I'm just going to literally pack this on the outer corner of my eye just to deepen that up just a smidge. The next color I actually haven't used, this is the one that I used last time and I was obsessed with it. Like I love the formula and everything, but this time I'm going to take this really pretty pink here and I'm just going to pack that all over the lid. I'm assuming it's the same formula as the other color. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. The next product that we have here is the Benefit of Bad Gal Bang. I remember in my last video, that was the first, actually, no, not last video. It was a few videos back where I tried this for the first time and I was amazed of how good it was. And this is the only mascara I took traveling and holy crap. This is honestly my new favorite mascara of all times. I don't know when I'm going to find a new fave mascara because this is overriding every single one I've tried. It's just like so light. Oh my God, there's fluff floating around. It's just so light on the lashes, but the formula is like pretty wet. So it makes them just like so thick and long. It separates all of the lashes. I like to start from like the very bottom of the root, wiggle my way up. And my lashes look incredible. Like they've never looked like this before. Usually I put like heaps of coats on, but I'm going to put fake lashes on today. So I'm just going to coat them so they're nice and black. I just went ahead and did my lashes and liner. So these are the lashes I've been loving lately. They're from Lash Warriors and these are the 3D Faux Mink Lashes. And I use the style A11 today. I just really like these ones because they're so freaking fluffy and they feel like mink lashes, but they're not, which is good. My next fave has been a fave for quite a while now. It is the Urban Decay B6 a Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. I love this so much just because it feels so refreshing on my skin and seems priming with like a moisturizer, I mean with like a lotion one. I might run you guys through my favorite brushes as well at the moment because I've got a few like amazing brushes that I'm obsessed with. The first brush is the Makeup Geek foundation stippling brush this is so good to blend out my favorite foundation speaking of makeup geek i feel like makeup it used to be like one of the most popular brands for makeup especially like online and recently i just feel like no one even uses them anymore but their products are amazing so hopefully they come up with new products soon so love this so much um my new favorite foundation actually i've been kind of like on and off this for a while but it is the hourglass vanish stick now the reason why i originally stopped using this is because it made my face kind of oily but recently my skin's been super dry so if you have dry to dry normal skin then i would definitely recommend this anything to like normal to oily would definitely stay away from it but i just love 
I love this foundation like with my whole life. Like honestly, the shade, the formula, the finish, everything is so good. So I'm just going to paint this all over my face. Another reason why I love it is because it's just like so easy to apply. See, look at that color. Oh, I love it. Did I say I was in the shade warm beige? Because if I didn't, there you go. My face is a little bit yellow at the moment, but when I have the powder and everything on, it literally looks perfect. So the other favorite concealer that I want to share with you guys is from Bobbi Brown. It is called the Instant Full Cover Concealer. This has the most amazing, amazing coverage. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it's so thick and it's like hard to actually put on under the eyes. But other than that, the formula is really nice once it's blended. Oh my God, Michael literally walked into my house, took my beauty blender cleaner, walked out. And I'm like, um, where's my beauty blender cleaner? He's like, oh, I took it. <laughs> yeah, no worries, hon. Sorry. Anyways. I bought a new one, $75 later. And now all my beauty blenders are clean, so I'm really happy. Okay, so next we have the La Prairie Cellular Treatment Loose Powder. This is honestly the best, best. Oh my God, okay, that was really dramatic. Like, shut up. Best translucent powder I've ever used. This one is super, super expensive, but I feel like it's so worth it for me personally. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit on my beauty blender. Actually, that's a lot. <laughs> Stop being dramatic now, shiny. And then I'm going to bake underneath my eyes with this. The reason why I love this is because it literally just like melts into the skin. You don't even need to blend it away. Um, I need to stop saying literally. It's so annoying. I actually think there's like a police chase outside. Like I'm not even kidding. I heard like a massive skid and I can hear all the sirens. <laughs> Well, relax. I also love to bake my laugh lines with this. My favorite powder at the moment is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC42. So usually I use the Benefit Hello Flawless one, but I actually ran out of that. Um, I had it for so long as well. It lasted a really long time. So I ended up just reaching for this because I had this in my collection and I'm so in love with it. I am going to go get my Benefit powder again just because I love that one just as much. But this one is incredible. I can't go without setting my face because I feel like my bronzer and stuff doesn't blend as nicely because my foundation's all wet. And also that vanish stick is like super wet. So I like to make it a little bit matte. Let's finish the eyeshadow off. So I'm going to go in with this burgundy shade and just pop this under my lash line to even out the eyeshadow look. Just keeping under here really simple. Wow, that's very blown out. Relax. Of course, it is time to coat the lower lashes. As I said before, this makes your lashes so long. So I'll be here for like 10 minutes coating them because I need to cover all of that eyeshadow we just put on. The next product that I've been obsessed with is the Tarte Top Yop. Wow, I'd really butch that one. It is the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in the shade Top Yacht. It is a beautiful champagne shade and it is perfect to highlight in the inner corners. So I'm just going to pop that right here. It's really good for like dark looks especially because it like brings some more attention to the inner corners. Since it is so dramatic right now. Let's go ahead and set the eyebrows. So I'm taking the Benefit Ready Set Brow. This is literally like pretty much the only one that I take when I go traveling. It is just like the perfect brow setting product. I just like to push my eyebrows up and it really separates all the individual hairs. So it makes the brows look super full. And I like that it makes them like stay upwards throughout the whole day. I don't know, I just like that look. It's like a fan's being blown in my face. My eyebrows are just like, <sighs> catch a next way, dill. And also I will leave all the products that I'm using down in the description below if you guys are interested in anything. Oh my Lord, I found a new favorite bronzer. You're gonna die. It is amazing. It is from MAC. It is called Bronzing Powder in the shade Refine Golden. It's better than the MAC Give Me Sun. It's just, it's more of like a bronzy glow than an orange glow. So the brush that I've been using to apply it is the Morphe M530. This is like the perfect brush because it fits really nicely under my cheekbone. So I like to put it under here and then I bring it up because I always like to have a nice bronzy face. And then I take it around my 
whole head basically <laughs> why not <laughs> fave blush at the moment is the zoeva blush in the shade burning up this is just like the most beautiful formula and i love corally blushes because i don't really like wearing like pinks on my cheeks so i like more of like an orangey pink instead it just like matches every single makeup look as well like i can wear it when i have full glam i can wear it when i have like the smallest amount of makeup on it just works with everything oh my god now it's time for highlight this is like a new fave of mine i took it traveling with me so it like fell out of the pan which is so annoying but it is from mac wow a lot of things are from mac in this video it is the O oh darling extra dimension skin finish holy heavens recently i've been so obsessed with um gold highlights and this is like the perfect champagne gold oh my gosh look at that this is the um what is this anastasia a23 highlighter brush this is the only brush that i use for highlight it just makes everything so much more dramatic like right up my alley i have been using this pretty much every day this month it is the smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade always on it is the perfect nude i cannot live without this the formula is really nice as well I'm thinking I have the wrong shade because usually it's darker. Why is there two of the same shades? <gasps> must have taken one of Rani's. My bad. Okay, this must be the color I've been using. Oh, this one's darker. Okay, I'm shook. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. The shade is actually called Gotta Light. The one that I used at the start is called Fair Game. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. This lipstick doesn't suit every single eyeshadow look. So when it doesn't, I always go in with the lighter shade just on the like in the middle here to make a little bit of an ombre. I feel like it's a little bit too cool tone for the eyeshadow today. So I'm just going to take a bit of the lighter shade, pop it on, blend it out, call it a day. All right, so last but not least, I'm going to go in with the Touch Our Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Since my skin's been so dry, I just like to use something that makes my skin a little bit more dewy. So I'm just going to spray this on. All right, guys. So here we have the finished makeup look. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I really like how it turned out. It's definitely different. A lot more grungy under the eyes because I usually don't bring down like the dark colors much down there. But I feel like it looks different. looks cool. I'm happy with it. So... Yeah, this is all my favorite products of the month and probably the last few months, to be honest with you. I haven't done a favorites video in so long. So I really hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye. P.S. Got my nails done long. I haven't had them this long in so long. Look how good they look. Yes.